Hello all, in this video we will learn some concepts of relational algebra that is division operator, aggregate functions and grouping of attribute. First let us look into the division operation. Division operation A divided by B can, can be applied only if attribute of B is a proper subset of attribute of A. That is if I want to perform a division operation between these two relation then the condition is the attribute of A should be proper subset of the attribute of relation A. The result of division operation are the tuples from relation A which are associated to every tuples of relation B. Let me explain this with an example of student and sports relation. In a, in a, in a student uh, relation we have two attributes that is ID number and sports. So this this is nothing but the student enrollment to various sports and here, here I have is a list of sports that is chess and hockey. Now if I want to know if I want to know the students who have enrolled for all the sports then I make I need to make use of a division operation okay like for example I have a student uh, a student with the ID number 101 he just enrolled with the sports chess and a student with ID 102 has enrolled for enrolled for both the sports that is hockey and chess whereas 104 has enrolled only for chess yes so 102 has enrolled for hockey and chess now how will I retrieve 102 to the 102 can be retrieved by making use of an division operation that is student divided by sports detail is nothing but 102 division operation are used in the queries that include the phrase for all to all and every in the in the queries or in the problem statement if at all if you have any phrase called for all or to all and every which means here we need to make use of a division operation again the problem statement of this example is retrieve the student id who enroll for all the sports yes in this example is 102 Whenever you encounter with for all, which means you need to make use of a division operation. So the division operation is nothing but it will return the tuples from relation A which are associated with the every tuples of relation B. Like 102 is associated with the chess, uh, when, I mean 102 is enrolled with chess, also enrolled with uh, to the sports hockey. Yes. Uh, let me explain this division operation with one more example retrieve the student names who have enrolled for all the courses yes again we have a phrase for all which means we have to make use of division operation uh, let me consider the two relations student and course relation uh, in a student we have a student name these all are my student and the course name uh, these are the enrollment of the student to various courses and these are the list of courses offered yes now suppose if I want to know the student names who have enrolled for all the courses which means I need to make use of division operation okay uh, yes let us look into each student name Shubham uh, Shubham has enrolled for machine learning web development and IOT yes he uh, yes he has enrolled for all and you can see Vaishnavi has enrolled for web development machine learning and IOT yes the result of the division operation has Shubham and Vaishnavi and it doesn't have Shivat much because he has enrolled only for IOT and Suhan has enrolled only for machine learning so yes this is how the division operation works yeah let me consider one more example retrieve the names of employees who works for all the projects that John Smith works on again we have a for all phrase so which means again here we should make use of division operation yes when, when we yes uh, now second thought is about what should be the numerator and what should be the denominator in the question itself we can understand that the denominator should be nothing but the project number of John Smith and the numerator should be nothing but ESSN and project number yes first I need to identify I need to get 
the project number of John Smith. So in order to do that, first I need to retrieve the tuple from of John Smith from employee relation. Yes, from an employee relation, I just retrieve the tuple of John Smith. John is a first name, Smith is a last name using a sigma operator and just store it in an intermediate relation called as Smith. Yes. Now I want the project number of Smith. So in order to identify the project number of Smith, I need to join it with works on. So I need to perform a join operation uh, with Smith with the works on. And the join condition is ESSN is equal to SSN and just retrieve the column project number using pi operation. This pi operation is used to retrieve the column. Yes. And the final intermediate relation is like I just retrieved a project number of John Smith. Now what I want is I just want to retrieve uh, ESSN and project number columns from works on. Yes, uh, let us look into the next slide. Yeah, this is how we retrieve the project number and the ESSN from works on. Okay, from works on, I just retrieved ESSN project number using pi operation and named it as project number, SSN hyphen project number underscore project number yes this is uh, the ESSN and project number of all the employees and this is the project number of John Smith now I need to perform a division operation between these two relation yes you can is as you can see here uh, numer denominator is nothing but the project number of John Smith and the numerator consists of uh, ESSN and project number of all the employees so the resultant relation is nothing but the the social security number of the employees who work for all the projects that John Smith works like this. So these are the SSN of employees who work for all the projects that John Smith works. Now, now is it enough? No, I just want their names. In order to identify the name, I need to uh, uh, perform a natural join with employee and this I can retrieve the first name and the last name. So the final uh, result uh, result of this division operation is nothing but it consists of the first name and the last name of the all the employees who work for those projects where John Smith works yes yes uh, let us understand about the generalized projection the generalized projection operation extends the project operation by allowing functions of attributes to be included in the projection list. Uh, we have already learned about the project operation where using a pi operation we just retrieve a particular column. So here is just, thing, just about the extension of the project operation where we perform some functions, uh, functions of attributes included in a, a project operation, project projection list. Yes, uh, you can see uh, this is the syntax uh, we, here. We have a pi operation and f1 and f2 are the functions uh, on the uh, function on the attributes of relation R. Yes, um, let me consider this example. We have an employee relation and SSN salary deduction years of service. All these are the attributes. And the operation that I need to perform is I need to calculate net salary. Uh, how to calculate yes it is salary minus deduction is net salary and how to cal uh, calculate bonus yes 2000 into years of service and what is tax it is a 25 percentage of the salary that is nothing but 0.25 into salary now let me write a relation algebraic expression I uh, use uh, for the generalized projection yes you can see here from the employee table I just retrieve SSN and the operations are uh, salary minus deduction so this is nothing but the net salary and to 2000 into years of service this is nothing but the bonus and 0 0.25 into salary this is nothing but the tax that is 25 percent of the salary so here what I've done is I've performed some of the operations mathematical operations on the attributes and just I renamed it as look at using the row operation I have renamed it as SSN net salary bonus and the tax okay just rename it as tax so this is all about generalized projection yes uh, coming to the very important concepts in relation algebra that is aggregate functions and grouping of attributes so this is done by making use of a notation called as script f yes some of the aggregate functions are sum average 
maximum, minimum and count. The count function is used to count the number of tuples in a relation. Uh, yes, uh, this is syntax for defining aggregate function. Uh, grouping attributes, then the notation script f, function list and the relation r. Uh, let us consider a simple example. Here we have a employee relation and we are grouping those employee relation based on the department number and here we have some of the aggregate functions that is count and average. So now what this relation algebraic expression does is the all the tuples of an employee relation are grouped based on the department number and all the aggregate functions will be applied on that particular group. For example count SSN it will return the number of uh, employees in each department and average salary will return the number of average employee salary for each department. So the result the resultant relation will consist of uh, uh, three columns that is the first column will be department number, second will be the number of employees in each department and the third column will be the average salary, average employee salary for each uh, department. Uh, Explain, we'll explain the same uh, uh, relation algebraic in the next slide here. Uh, retrieve each department number, the number of employees in the department and their average salary. Yes, first of all, I need to retrieve the department. Yes, uh, in an, this is an employee uh, uh, table where I have the department number in the last column. So, in order to retrieve the number of employees in each department, the first and foremost what I have to do here is I need to group those department number. After grouping those department number, then I can apply aggregate functions like count or count SSN so that uh, it will count the number of uh, employees in each department. And then I can also find average salary using the aggregate functions. Uh, yes, uh, I, my expected output should be like this where I just retrieve the department number and uh, number of employees in each department here for the department 5 there are four number of employees for the department number 4 there are three number of employees and the average salary average salary of department 5 average salary of uh, department 4 so uh, the corresponding relation algebraic expression is the same which we saw in the last slide uh, employee uh, script f we group based on the department number so the left side is about the grouping attribute so the entire employee uh, tuples are grouped based on the department number and uh, some of the aggregate functions are applied on that particular group that is count SSN that calculate the number of employees uh, in each department and the average salary uh, average employee salary will be calculated for each department as you can see in the uh, in the slide yes Next problem, retrieve the total number of employees and their average salary. Now what I want here is, I need the total number of employees. Uh, we have an aggregate function called as count that can be applied uh, here. And the average salary, again we have an aggregate function called as average. Yes, um, my expected output should be like this, total number of employees and the average salary. Yes, the corresponding, uh, corresponding re relation algebraic expression looks like this, where we don't group the attributes. So in this case, it is for the, since there is no grouping attribute, the aggregate function will be applied for entire uh, relation, entire table. So count SSN now will be applied to the table. So total number of uh, uh, rows or total number of employees will be returned. Yes, there are total number of eight number of employees and average salary, the average of this salary will be Return. So this is about uh, uh, aggregate function and grouping attribute using script f notation. Yes, let us solve this query. Find the names of employees who work on all the projects controlled by department number 5. Yes, here we have on all phrase which means we have to make use of a division operation. Yes, uh, the denominator is pretty much simple here. That should be nothing but project numbers controlled by department number 5. The denominator is the project number that is controlled by department number 5 and the numerator uh, should be those ESSN of all the employees and their project numbers. That should be the numerator. Okay. Now to select those project number that is controlled by department number 5, we need to concentrate on project table uh, where we need to select the tuple uh, where department number is equal to 5 and we need to select the column of project number. That becomes the 
denominator okay the first statement looks like this where from the project table i just retrieve those department uh, is equal to 5 using sigma operation and just select those columns using uh, pi operation and just i rename the pre, uh, project number as p number using a row operation so and store it in a uh, any relation intermediate relation so the resultant relation is nothing but the project numbers controlled by department number 5 yes next i need to retrieve these two columns from works on yeah from the works on i just retrieve essn and project number using pi that is project operation and then i just rename essn as ssn and keep project number as it is using the row operation and again the resultant relation is nothing but the project number of all the essn and project number of all the employees next yes now i need to perform a division operation so this relation is nothing but the ESSN and project number of all the employees divided by project numbers that control by department number 5. Yes. After performing a division operation, the, the resultant relation is nothing but the social security number of the employees who work on all the projects that control by department number 5. Okay. I repeat once again, the resultant relation is nothing but the social security number or SSN of all the employees who work on all the projects controlled by department number 5. Okay, now I need their name. I want the, the names of the employees. So I need to join. I, perform, I can perform a natural join with the employee. Yes, I just performed a natural join with the employee. So what is common in both the relation is SSN because... Uh, we have already re uh, renamed ESSN as SSN in the previous relations. Okay. After that, we just retrieve the two columns, that is last name and the first name, using the pi operation. And thus, the resultant relation is nothing but the last name and the first name of the employees who work for all the projects that are controlled by department number 5. Yes. List the names of all employees with the two or more dependents. The names of the all the employees is available in an employee table and the information about the dependents is available in a dependent table. Now, I want those employees with two or more dependents. The solution is very simple. I need to group ESSN and then apply a count function on the particular group. So, thus I can retrieve those number of dependents for each employees. Okay. Yes, um, you can see here from the dependent table, I just make use of a notation script f group ESSN and after grouping those ESSN attribute, then I can apply aggregate function on that particular group. So what this aggregate function does is it will count the number of dependents on each for each employee SSN. Okay. You can see this. This is uh, uh, the resultant relation. The resultant relation is T1 with SSN and the number of dependents. Yes. Now, I want the information of the employees who has more than two, two or more than uh, two dependents. Yes. I can make use of a sigma notation just to retrieve the particular row. That is, number of dependents greater than two. And then store it as a uh, intermediate relation t2 and from t2 in order to get their names i need to join it with the employee t2 asterisk employee and then retrieve the last name and the first name i just retrieve the two columns using a pi operation and thus the resultant uh, relation consists of the last name and the first name of all the employees with the two or more dependents Yes, that's it about this video. Please do like, subscribe and share. Thank you.